What's up guys, GT Gamer here, and we've just got a train pulling into Chumash, it's awesome, look at that, all the cranes are in there. It's definitely growing up, and, well let's start off, welcome back to Transport Fever. And, I haven't played this game in a while, and I did try and explain it at the end of the last episode, but I don't think I did a very good job of it, I'll admit that. So, basically, as you probably know by now, I've got a full-time job. And the problem with that is it makes it very difficult to record because I work 40 hours a week and I work nights. So the only time I have spare and that I'm actually awake is three days a week at night. And the problem with that is my dad, I live with my parents, so my dad and my stepmom are asleep next door. So it makes it very difficult to record because I have to keep my voice down. And... As much as I hate it, I do have to cut back on recording, which really sucks because I do love talking to you guys and recording videos. It's something that I love doing. But today, I'm going to talk to you about a few things. And another thing I really want to do, we haven't done particularly well in this series, I'll admit. I've done things quite slowly and lackadaisically. And we haven't really got very far, so I'm going to speed this up and... My aim today is this line, just close that for a minute, the line which goes from Chumash, it goes down to Del Perro, Los Santos, then it joins on to this line which goes from Cy uh, Elysian Islands even, Elysian Island, try that again, and it goes La Mesa up the coast and then again it splits and the Elysian Island line goes there to Stab City and Sandy Shores and our line, the main line, goes up and over here at this lovely flying junction. I do love this flying junction. I think it looks awesome. And then it goes to this stop in Sandy Shores. So we've got two stations in Sandy Shores now. Then it goes to Grapeseed. And then finally it goes to Polito Bay. And today I want to join Chumash. And I want to make this line a full circle and have a line running in each direction. And as we're doing that, I'll talk to you about a few things. I'm going to try and edit at least, edit the least amount of this video out as possible. But I don't know, it's probably going to be expensive, so we might have to edit some stuff out. And first things first, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to delete this bit of road here. Um, damn, yeah, that's going to be quite expensive. Yeah, there's all our money gone already. Not particularly brilliant, but there's not really much I could do about that. I'm probably going to have to remove this stop here. How much is it to take this bit of road out? 175,000. Well, it's about 226,000 overall. Uh, and then we're going to have to get across that. That's not going to be cheap. This is going to be expensive. Damn. Oh, our loan's gone up. Oh, that is a godsend. I genuinely didn't know that. Oh, thank God. Right, screw it. We're going all out, spending all of our money. So, yeah, you go. I'm still going to be quite careful with the money because you'll be surprised how far 90 million gets. It's not as far as you'd think. Uh, we should lay the inside track first. Ooh, that speed's not brilliant, is it? I'm going to do it level because I think level will be better to get across this little bay here um, I want to make it I don't want it to snap onto there and uh, I want it level again and then can we get across here that's level do, I'm not gonna faff about do you know what actually no I am gonna do what I'm gonna do this bit of road here is straight, so I'm going to see if we can get a double track section here. I think, yeah, we can. It's not the best there, but yeah, that rock face isn't brilliant, but it's good enough. It'll do. I think it, it is good enough and it will do. Right, we're going to connect that up to there. But yeah, as I was saying, with my job now, it really sucks because I did... My dream would was to be a full-time YouTuber, but it's not really going to happen with 30-odd subs. And I have to work. I need to get some money to basically live my life and pay for everything I need to buy. 
and that means cutting down a lot on my videos, which means it's even more unlikely I'll become a YouTuber. I kind of accepted that. But the problem is that a lot of my series I'm going to have to cut down on what I make, and I think Transport Fever is one of the series I'm cutting back on, just went through a new year. And it is a shame, because I, I do actually really love this game. God, this is going to be a big bridge across here, isn't it? The track's still level, that's pretty cool. I don't think it needs to be level anymore though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this and reopen it and then it'll reset. But either way, this is going to be a big bridge across here. This is going to be expensive. Oh my god. Okay. That's not what I wanted to see. Five, six million dollars. Seven million, why not? And that's not even with a good bridge. Holy crap, 10 million dollars. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not good. Ah, uh, crap. And the only other option really is to go around and across there, but that's not going to be fast. I think we're going to have to take it. I see no other way. God, this is... I am going to regret this. That is a big bridge, a <laughs> very big bridge. Holy crap. Yeah, that is, let me just turn the camera. That's a big bridge. That is a very big bridge. Oh God. I am so going to regret that, ain't I? Yeah. Anyway, Chumash. We want, I want four platforms because why not? I want it 120 plus 200, so it's a 320. Second street connection, yeah, why not? Now we're going to have to fit this in. Uh, V's not to turn, I don't even know why I pressed that. Uh, um, I'm just thinking... The problem is, if I put it by there, which is a good spot for it, getting over this here and up this hill... That's really going to suck. What would be better is if the track came down along there and across and the station was by there. But, oh, I don't think that'll work. And I can't really put it outside the station because then no one will, outside the city even, because then no one will use it. Um. Huh. What about an underground station? I'm just thinking to myself what would be the best way to do this. Uh, minus 20, because it's uneven. And I want... No, I want a micro entrance. And actually, no, I want a mini entrance. Um, and... Would I be able to put it there? I would. Okay, I think we've got ourselves a little bit of a plan here. Close to this road as possible. Oh, please let this work. Please, please, please let this work. Small road. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go to the train station. Nothing bad will happen. Holy crap. That is not good. It's going to have to come out at an angle like that. That's the only way. Like, that is full up hell and it won't gonna... <laughs> what? Oh, wow. That's good. I like that. Um, that'll do. And I'm gonna have to extend this road, which I think is that one, yeah. And uh, what road was it? it was, was it this one? Yeah. Oh, my God. That is so much further down than I thought it was. Oh my god, that's insane. That's full downhill, oh my, jeez, really? Okay, plan B. You go like that. You connect this, I'm at, really? God damn you. I'm going to spend so much money doing it. We're down to two million already. We've just, literally just borrowed loads. Like, holy crap. Still too much. So, are you kidding me, game? Kidding me? Seriously? I want to connect that road somehow, though. 
Um, right, okay. Not gonna happen. So, what I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna do the lazy thing. I'm gonna take that, take it out of there. And that'll do. It's not elegant, but it will do. Right, track. Now, let's see if my plan thing will work. So, um... 75. I wanted to miss that field really. Uh, screw it, it'll do. And then this got to connect on to this. Is the speed decent? The speed is fine. Let's see if we can make it cheaper. I do actually need to start worrying about money now. How much are we making? What's, are we losing massive amounts on anything? No, nah, kind of. 25,000, I think that's going to be profitable any moment, and that's going to turn into our loop line, so it needs to. We are making 1.1 million on the Grapeseed Food line, the Stab City line is making 600,000. We do really need to up our game if we want to make good money, fair play. But we have got a lot of lines losing a lot of money. But I think this ring line, or loop line, whatever you want to call it, I think this is where we're going to make our money. No, that wasn't that expensive in there. Right, it's this part now, which is going to be tricky. Yeah. Really? How much? Three? No. Just no. Do we have any other choice? How the heck are we going to get that much money? That's going to take forever. Uh, and I really don't want to edit out parts of this video because I don't like editing out. Um, look at that bridge, that's so big. How much was it? Three point... I can't even remember how much I said it was. That's gone up. It was three point... It's because of the bridge type. Three point four. Four point six. Five point four. Oh my, uh, 4.68, 3.9, 3.9, Really? Um, uh, how can we make that cheaper? It's seriously? All we need to do now is finish this last section. Uh, um, and I don't want to extend the line up to North Chumash until it's completed the loop because that means the mon the bit of money I do have I'd have to spend on a crossover point here I'd have to put local transport routes in oh my god are you kidding me my mouse wheel is screwed I zoomed in then it zooms out look at that <laughs> Oh my god, are you kidding? No way. <laughs> I t I've never no I've never seen the game do that. That is the steepest hill in the world. Look at that. Oh my god. And I can, can I just say, look at the way the people are walking. Yeah, right. That is insane. That is Absolutely, that's like a roller coaster. Look at the view you get living at the top, though. Oh my! <laughs> I need to put a route up there so I can go first person. I'm sorry, but what? Look at that! When I move the camera forward, it dives downhill. Oh my god, that is fabulous! <laughs> Seriously. Why did the game think that that was a good idea? I have honestly never seen anything like that before. And I thought that hill but there was steep. Jesus Christ. Honestly. <laughs> How did the game think that was a good idea? My voice completely broke then, but I don't care. That is amazing. That's not what I wanted either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, imagine living in that house. There, I'll just go outside. Oh no, the car's rolled away. Oh no, now I'm rolling away. <laughs> That's literally what it would be like. That's incredible. 
Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can make it a bit cheaper if I don't bring it. 316. How much we got? So we're only about 250,000 off. I was trying to think if there's a way I can make this any cheaper. Um... Although, to be fair, we're only 100,000 off now, but it is the end of the month, so I doubt we're going to get it. How are we doing? I always like keeping an eye on the lines, because you'll be amazed how quickly some lines can just give up. What I do want to see, grapeseed food. How old are the vehicles? Not that old. You see, it was making a lot more money than that before, and I'm not entirely sure why it's gone down. I'm gonna have to have a. I'm gonna have to go look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at that. So I think I've got an idea why it might be not good. So the line starts in grapeseed, goes up to there, and then back. We've got plenty of it. That's why. Look at our distribution. Our distribution sucks. Right. What lines are going from here? RF Sandy. Uh, okay, is that it? Right, we need to do something about this. We desperately need to do something about it. That's why that's losing us money. We need to massively increase the uh, capacity, the demand on that line. Right, how much does that cover? That covers all of it. Right, okay, new line. Going to put in a line that goes from... Oh, can't see. This mouse wheel, I swear. Right, it's going to go from there to... Where did I say? I think it was that one. Let's make it a colour we can actually see with a human eye. And this is... TF... Uh, pal... E... That's palette. Palito... Food. Go for it. Oop, enter, not dot. And we need vehicles. Oh, we got enough for that bridge. Do I go for that in or do I buy vehicles? Uh, I think this is more important. Uh, where's a depot? Do you know where we have a depot? I, there's one here, isn't there? It's been so long since I've played this game. Right, we want... Ooh, steam lorry. Yep. One, two, three. Ooh, come on. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, RF, uh, where's Polito? P -p 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 that's RP. Did I put it as TF? I bet I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. That's annoying. It is, I need this line, I need this, and this is going to be... I only pray as TF because I was just thinking about printing a food line down to the city. I think that would be a good thing to do, but not quite yet. Right. We also could... How could we get more capacity? We could go stab city. I, I am thinking of printing a truck line down to the city. Would that be a good idea? We'd need a lot of vehicles, though. Like, a, a lot of vehicles. I don't think I can emphasise how many vehicles we would need for that. It would be a good way to get trucks on the highway, though. Um, right. How much does that cover? That covers a fair bit, but not loads. This covers more, I would say. Right. Line manager, one, two. Line one is going to go to there. Line two is going to go to... Uh, how much does that go? Ooh, we got a new vehicle. We've got the 442 Atlantic and the new boxcar. That's awesome. Right, and line two is going to go there. And then all the way up here, the, both of them are going to go there. That is going to become very busy, that stop. I might need to put a big one in soon. Right, this one, blue, and you, light blue. I probably should start a colour scheme at some point. Perfect. Hang on, did they both go in? Uh, huh, that's odd. Normally it stripes the lines. Oh, well. 
Nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about. Right, number, the light blue one is, uh, what area is that? Uh, ba -ba -ba. What area is that? I genuinely don't know. Uh, that's Vinewood, that's Los Santos, this is, uh, screw it, I'll, it's going to be RF Central Food, that'll do. And you will be RF -L -L -S. food. Perfect. And we, I probably should put a depot in grapeseed, but mm, not sure. Right, now you, road vehicle, steam lorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You guys, you need to go on central food. Ooh, that's quite loud. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You guys, you need to go on LS food. And I do want to see. Oh, this is going to be ridiculous expensive, but... I don't know how many vehicles we got on there. How, mu how much would it be if I was to change you to a steam lorry? I'm guessing millions. Oh, yes, please. We've, we're now out of money, but I think this will be worth it. That was good time. So now every, every vehicle that falls into here will be either a steam lorry or upgra upgrading to a steam lorry. I couldn't even talk then. Look how much food we got here, that is ridiculous. Steam lorry, steam lorry, horse cart, you're going to turn into a steam lorry. That is very loud, I might have to turn that down. Yeah, I'm going to turn it down. That's good, cool. look how busy this truck stop is. And I don't think I've got enough room to upgrade, have I? No. What was the other one? Uh, I could do that, but I think that would just decrease it. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Might have to put a second stop in soon. Or rearrange something. Either one works, either one works. Right, how much have we actually got? 100 coal, uh, coal, 100 corn, 160 food, and a few cows. Um, I think that should sort itself out, to be fair. Right, I'm just going to... Let's see the profits. Has that made it go up a little? No, it's got made it go down. How many vehicles we got? 73. Um, where's LS food? That's probably losing money at the moment. Polito's losing us money, but that's actually gone down. What is on the Polito line? That's the Polito food line. Train. Uh, they're... Pretty decent, actually. Three, what are they, generals? Uh, yet yeah, generals with four carriages. Of course, now I can't put my passenger line in for a while. That sucks a little bit. Right. Polito food, that's still getting to the station, so that's not surprising. Why are you losing us money? Oh, that, yeah, these are very old. Uh... You, Max, okay. I need to do some upgrading, I think. Oh, wow, really? 900,000? You're kidding? Uh, okay. I suppose I am going to have to do this because it's these... That's the thing. It's these little things which build up. Like, where's this? Like, it's only losing us 26,000. You go, oh, yeah, but the food line's making you a million, so that's nothing. But then we got the LS food, uh, well actually that's not, that's a bad example, tram line, losing us money. All these old vehicles need to be replaced because they do lose you money. And every thousand, every time a line you, loses you thousand, it builds up. So if you have five lines losing you a thousand, that's five thousand. But of course we got more lines losing more money than that. So it does build up. We need to try and keep on top of this because... Otherwise, we're just going to get to a point where all our lines are outdated. We've got no money to upgrade them, and they're all losing money. And then we're just 
going downhill fast on a slippery slope which we just cannot recover from. So I'm, I am going to save it. I'm going to go through and I'm going to upgrade these vehicles. I have no idea how long it's going to take. But all these lines, especially the ones that are losing us money, I'm going to go through and upgrade some of the vehicles. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay guys, so let me show you what I've done. And I chose this rather idyllic setting down here. It look, I must say it's come along very well down here, this part of the area. It is a shame I couldn't connect the road across the bay. I, maybe in the future I'll connect like... Maybe this street here to that one. I don't know yet. But it's going to be expensive and i got better things to spend the money on, quite frankly. But, yeah, I think this has come along quite nicely down here. Imagine living on this street here. I bet that would be so nice. One thing I do wish is that when I was setting up this uh, map, I wish I chose European terrains where it wasn't desert but rather grass. I think that would be nice. And we've got three over 3 million ads. No, I expect to take some out. Uh, ooh, maybe we're 3.11 million. Perhaps we can put this road in. And if we can, then after that, I'll show you what I've done. So it's up here by this ridiculously street, steep road. God knows why the game thought that was a good idea, but it made me giggle, so I'll allow it. Come on, there. Right, can we cross this river? Straight, whatever. It's the tunnel part that's so expensive, I think, this time. Yeah, we can do, oop, not quite, that, and then the road, the road, the ru try that again, then the track can run up along there on this nice flat plateau, but let's play it, and what have I done? Well, if we go to the routes, you'll see, oh, I missed one, did I do that? Oh, I thought I did that, uh, let it, let is, let us Put a steam lorry. That should only be cheap, but of course we have absolutely no money right now. It's annoying. Now I've played this game for the first time in ages. Now I'm sat here like, ooh, I really wish I could play this more. <laughs> so I really want to start this series going full again. But I just haven't got the time. I am still going to make videos on you. They're just not going to be as common. Right, there you go. Replace that. But you'll see I've replaced every single road vehicle and there we get on to the rp line so they're max these mac trucks are good man let me show you one quickly uh what do i want i want the line close that replacement mac and the original horse car could carry four people at nine miles an hour then we got a bit of an upgrade to five miles per hour on the what are these called uh, it doesn't say stagecoach, there it says. I couldn't find where it said then. This is the stagecoach, carry five people at 11 miles per hour, so a little bit of an upgrade. Then we got these, which can carry nine people at 16 miles per hour. And freight wise, we, got, we started off with this, which could carry four at nine miles per hour. I'm guessing it's the same kind of step up as this. So the next one will probably be five at 11, let us see. Yeah, oh no, 5 at 12 miles per hour. And then the steam lorry can carry 6 at 16 miles per hour. So that's a pretty pretty standard upgrade really. But back to this, I have upgraded every single line with the only exceptions being the train lines. And I need to upgrade, no I don't, ignore me, I was thinking that was a passenger line then. I was looking at that like what the hell carriage is that? It's not, it's a, uh, that is a, yeah it's a tank car. And then we have generals with passenger cars, I haven't done anything with that. And then we got the tram lines, which again, I didn't upgrade because, to be honest, we haven't expanded Polito enough to make a profit, so it's pretty pointless. And profit-wise, we have, uh, go to the top, my mouse wheel, come on, mouse wheel. 1.6 million, now we've upgraded the food line to steam lorries. Uh, the Stab City line is full to capacity, might need to upgrade that soon, that's going to be expensive. And at the bottom, losing us the most money, now it's gone down from like 100,000 loss to 22, our most losing line. Which is the South Vinewood Fuel line. But I don't really mind that, I can live with that. We, we got 830,000, let's see if we can double track this, I doubt it. We might be able to get so far. Let's pause it there on the 28th. We might actually do it with 920. No, not quite. 
we can get to uh, there. Good enough now. See, my mouse wheels. I need to get a new mouse. Need to get a new mouse. I'm still struggling with this whole speech thing, you know. Gotta learn English somehow. Right, it's going to be 600,000 to finish off this bridge. Then hopefully, hopefully, it's going to be relatively cheap to get to Polito Bay. The only possible exception is this bit where it's quite hilly and the only flat section is curved because in the real game this would be a highway, that's why it's carved out like that. And yeah, that corner there is a little bit harsh for a train, might need a tunnel there or certainly a cutout of some kind. But once we've done that, we will be able to complete the entire loop. And then we can have lines going in both directions and make billions. That's my plan. I doubt it'll work like that, but you know, there's always, I can always hope. These roads by here are so screwed up. That's the thing, Chumash. I was playing Grand Theft Auto the other day. North Chumash is not a town. It's just the place where the biker bar is. There's not even any houses there. So, that I'm not sure they should have included that in the game, if I'm honest. But then, you can't exactly say, oh, we'll just give it a small town to make it more realistic, because, of course, the game builds the town, so... It's kind of make-do, I suppose. There's not really much I can do about it. I suppose I could delete the entire town, but then what would be the point in that? So, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with that. Deal with the ridiculously steep street. Like, seriously, come on. That's got to be 70 degrees. There's no way you could drive up that, let alone walk. I suppose you could crawl up it if you were tried hard enough. Not quite sure what the point of that would be. But, you know, logic, you know. I don't think games have developed logic yet. Right, we're nearly done with this bridge. I should have put in the faster bridge. We'll have to go back and redo this at some point. I think it's a nice bridge, though. Like, the wooden bit on the edge is uh, unique. Let's put it that way. It is cool how it, the log sticks out so they can put the barrier in nice and strong. Right, we can complete this bridge. Now, pause. I just noticed the date. Thank God. And play again. And, of course, now we're 300,000 in debt. Right, it should start getting a bit cheaper from here on out. He says as he lays 24,000 quids worth of track. Right, I think we should be able to do this. So come on, Manny, build up. But yeah, I, do, I really do miss making as many videos. I, that's one thing I do love doing is making videos. But working, I work at Amazon on nights. And I just, I find myself having no time to myself. Like, nights is better money, but socially, it's not good. Like, even in my spare time, as I said, my dad's asleep next door, so I can't exactly be screaming and shouting and all that kind of stuff. It just would never work. Ooh, that's a nice tunnel, that is. That's going to look lovely when I double track it. Right. Going to be a bit expensive across this bit. Kind of expected that. Um, should we try and curve to match the land? No, I don't think we should. I think we're straight. That was straight then. They're straight. How much is that? 50,000. We can do that. It should take absolutely no time. Like, the money is building up pretty fast now, but equally we go a lot more in debt when we do go in debt. So, swings and roundabouts. We're not quite in the clear when it comes to money. But it's only a matter of time before we have millions in the bank to spend at any moment in time. Oh, that was a bit of a lag spot then. Bear in mind, one thing I have seen, a lot of people comment saying, oh, the reason you get low frame rates is because your computer's at minimum spec. Believe me, it's not. It's a good computer. The reason I get massive frame drops like that is partially because one of my hard drives is a bit knackered. And it's the one my recording software was on, otherwise they would clash and it would just be terrible frame rates every time I record. But also, I use Fraps. Well, actually, I use Bandicam to record. I use Bandicam and Fraps. Don't ask why. And things like that, unless you have, like, hardware ways of recording, like a HD60 or something, it will half your frame rate. So right now I'm getting a... It's flickering between 27 and 28 frames a second. 
If I wasn't recording, that would be about 50, 55. So it's not because my computer's bad, but it's because I'm recording. It's the actual act of recording which makes it a bit slower. Granted, I do still have the occasional freeze and problems with my frame rate, but the main thing is just because I'm recording. And as I said, I have to use two separate hard drives at the same time to record, because otherwise you'd be trying to read from two different parts of the disk at the same time, or the SSD, and it would just be a lot slower. So I chose to put my Bandicam and my Fraps on a different hard drive just to be sure. And it does work, it's just occasionally we get these tiny freezes, but I honestly I can live with that. Ooh, it's coming up to the end of year. I'm gonna pause it on December 31st. Pause it there and just see how far we can go because we're about to go in debt. As I've said before, our loan payments are a biatch. Right, that's pretty much as far as I go. How much will it be to complete this bit of line now? 55, I doubt we can get that before the end. Ah, oh, I just missed it. We had it as well. Uh, I probably should have slowed it down. Oh well, we got a new cast, a cast, a new, I'm not sure what you'd call them, a wagon, a carriage, a freight version of a carriage. It's the gondola for carrying rocks and other stuff like that. I will... Where's a depot? I'll see if I can show you now. I'd have to go out the track thing, but that's not a problem. Look at that, we're 600,000 in debt, and we're paused, of course. That's probably why it's not coming back. That's a depot. I thought I, I deleted the depot then for a moment. Right, let's have a quick look for our locomotives. I don't really show you new things. That's one thing I do want to improve on when I come back to this game. We have the General, which is what we're using at the moment, 28 miles an hour. Quite powerful, tractive effort of 40 kilonewtons and power of 177 horsepower. Then we go up to 386 horsepower at 37 miles per hour compared to 28. That's for the Baldwin class 56. Then the Mogul can go 47 miles an hour with 544 horsepower. And then we come on to the big boy, which is the Atlantic, which can go 62 miles per hour, slow by today's standards, but that was pretty damn quick back then in 1905. And that has 952 horsepower. Passenger cars, the only real thing we need to notice is the speed and capacity, which this first one can carry 14 at 31, then 16 at 50, 16 at 62, and 16 at 62 again, because it's the same thing, just with a different livery. And I think the biggest one is the six axle passenger car for now, which can carry 18 at 68, but they are very heavy. The weight on one of these, 27 tons. The six axle car is 45 tons each. So yeah, pretty heavy. And then we got the gondola. This is the old one. It can carry seven coal, iron, stuff like that at 50 miles an hour. The new one can carry 12 at 75. That's the best we'll have now till basically the end of time. And then we have the tank car. This is the newer one, which can carry 12 at 75 once again. And the same for the uh, box car and the state car is the same. Right, we've got enough now. It's the 27th. I'm not sure how many days are in February in this game because I'm pretty sure the days aren't realistic. More of the months even. So let's just complete this. And stick that in. Boom. Oh yeah. Right, now we should be able to join up the line. So... What I'm going to do, I'm not going to reconfigure the line we have, that's going to go. What I'm going to do, just to make sure the line works before I start playing around, uh, I'm going to use blue, ooh, come on, blue, a new mouse, and red. And line one, I think a good place for this to start would be Los Santos. It's going to go there, there, uh, oh, I connected to the bus stop, not the thing. So there, to there, to what's next, Sandy up here. I need to check the passenger usage on that. Have we got the icons on? No, we haven't. On, on, turn that last one off because it's annoying. And there, no, that's not the one. We need to go to there. Come on. 
station, not that there. And then we are going to Perlito. And now you can see it's completed a circle. That means all the tracks intact. And then we're going to North Chumash, which has no road connection. And then we're going to... Oh, where's my mouse gone? Set, uh, Chumash. And then we're going to this stop, Del Perro. And back to the start. So this is going to be... Um, TP... What should we call this? Halo. Because the halo is like a circle. And this is going to be ACW for anti-clockwise. And you can probably guess the name of this one. TP Halo CW Clockwise. And as you've probably guessed already, this is going to start in Los Santos. Del Perro. And pretty much going to do the loop again. North Chumash. Uh, that's Probably not going to pick it up. Oh, it did. Well done. And then there. No. It's doing the same blemming thing again. There. Yep. And then there. And finally, down all the way to La Mesa. Perfect. Right. I do need to do some signaling. So let me just do that now and I will bring you back when it's done. Okay guys, so I put in the signals for the loop line, the halo line, and the transport network for North Chumash, and we're about to go down the massive hill. I've wanted to do this for ages. Ever since I saw it, I thought, ooh, I can't wait to do that. It was the motivation to put in the halo line just to do this. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be absolutely crazy going down this hill. That is pathetically steep, like nothing, no street will ever be that steep. But here we go, I've slowed it right down now. And we're going to tip over the edge. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> oh my god! Imagine if you was on this bus, you would just go flying through the windscreen. That's crazy! Anyway, <laughs> let's get out of that, I wanted to do that. Oh my god, that's it. That's amazing. But anyway, here are the lines we put in. It's pretty simple. It's two loops crossing in the middle. We have a stop right outside the station. And of course the halo lines are in. We have $2.6 million. I think it's time to put some trains on here. Um, what would be the best way of doing this? I think... Oh, hang on a minute. Where are the Polito trains? Oh, did I not tell them to stop at Sandy? Oh, that was stupid. Anyway, we need this and vehicles. I think we have three. Right, okay. So five and six. Both of you go on, what well, would this be? Clockwise, halo clockwise and halo clockwise and you dear sir uh which way are you going play Ooh. play you are going it's hard to tell i'm going to take a risk and say you can go on halo anti-clockwise it's going the right way right i'm going to pause this on the 31st so december 21st Right, they're all going the right way. That was a stroke of luck. And what I need to do now is find this line. There it is. You go. Right, it's the 26th. Is it just me or is time going slower? It's, it feels so much slower when you're watching the date, don't it? It's like when you look at the clock and it just drags on. Right, we've got two trains on one line and one train on the other. How much would it be, just out of interest, to upgrade these? So, let's say I wanted an Atlantic. And I'd want a fast path. I think the Atlantic would be a bit too much of an upgrade, really. One, two. How much would that be? Yeah. And that's just for the one vehicle, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, that's not going to happen. Come on. Uh... 
I do want to upgrade though. What about the Mogul? That might be more. So that's got a top speed of 47. So one of these, the clear story would be okay. One, two. Did I put two on? It's hard to tell when it lags. 1.15 million. So that means the other one would be about two and a half. I think we can, oh, we can't quite afford it. Okay. I'm going to do that one for now since it's on its own. It would be able to upgrade no issue. And I'm going to see how much this one will be. So what do we have? A mogul with two clear stories. One, two. And this is going to be... Uh, oh, that's the wrong line. Duh. You. Ah, oh, we're just a bit shy. We're going to have to go through the new year. And then build up another 1.02 million. That shouldn't take that long, actually. And then we are going for a ride. And I found the perfect place to do it. This bridge over here. It's so long, I had to put a set of signals in the middle. Seriously. I've never done that before. Not as far as I can remember, anyway. I think that's probably the longest bridge I've ever put in in this game. It's so long, it could probably span the Alamo Sea. Yeah, it could. Like, that's ridiculously long. I can't wait to ride over it, though. I think that'd be awesome. Right, how much did I say we needed? 2.33 million. So, I think we should be able to get that. How, how long have we been recording? Ah, we got plenty of time. I don't mind chilling for a bit. I sounded like such a chav then, didn't I? Chilling. I was chilling, bruv. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not a chav. I don't even know if you know what a chav is. I'm not sure. Do they call them chavs in America? Like, the type of people that wear track suits and cause trouble and a little bit of a renegade. We call them chavs. I don't know why they'd call them in America. Jocks, maybe? But that's more of a sporty person, in it? I know, but I, I described it mildly okay, I suppose. But I'm not one of them. Right, we've gone a bit off track, talking about chavs. Uh, we're not far off now, we just need 300,000. Can we get that this month? I bet we can. Um, and then we'll have some pretty fast trains right around. I do want to get another train on the anti-clockwise halo. That probably means putting a depot somewhere. I'm not sure where the depot is on this track. Uh, there was one there, but I got rid of it. So I don't think there is a depot. Okay, right, we nearly got enough. There we go. Perfect. Right. Uh, I'm going to have to stick a depot in somewhere. I'm thinking by here would be okay, to be honest. So, I want a... Tr no, that's truck. I want a train depot. Uh, I want a dead-end one. I like these little ones. They look... They actually do look like something you'd find on a track. Like... Like, you always see tracks which just lead nowhere, don't you? Where they put, like, old trains and stuff. This does actually look like something you would see on a track. I'm going to put it. One thing I have seen before is like these little dead end tracks next to a little station or just behind it. So I'm going to pop that there. And it's not very practical in putting trains on in the other direction, but I can always flip them or something. Just pop that in like that. And now I want you to come across like that. And if I get rid of this, I'll show you a little tip. I don't know if you knew this. If you click that and put double slip switch, I'll show you what that does. Put in these little side rails, and now we can go from, say, this track across to there, this track across there. So I'll be able to put trains on both directions. That would be good. Right. How much are the mogul? I think they're 900,000? 971,000? I think we should be able to get that. I'll tell you what. I know what we'll do. We'll end the episode, we'll have a bit of a ride on a train from Chumash up to, I reckon, Polito Bay maybe. And then we'll finish by sticking a train on one of them lines, because I think by then we should have enough money to do it. So, where's a train? I don't want to sit there forever waiting for a train. What about if we did it the other direction from Polito down? That may also work. No, there's none at Polito as well. Where's the trains? Ah, oh, they're both there right by each other. 
Okay, I'll wait. Actually, no. We're getting so close to buying the locomotive now, I might as well just go ahead and buy it. So, buy train. Mogul. Oh, can we get it? This is going to be close. 950, 60, yeah, there we go. Now own a mogul. Clear stories are 500,000 each. That seems like a bit of a rip-off to me, but I'm not complaining. Right. Let's go and wait for it. Actually, no, let's check on our lines. That would probably be a smarter thing to do. Oh, wow, look at that. 1.8 million on the food line. We need to get a train line in for that. We really do. Uh, Stab City is at capacity. Huh. What are we running on there? Three trains with three carriages. What if I were to put another carriage? There you go. Replace. Now, how much for that? Yeah, something tells me that's not going to happen right now. You know, the 3.4 million bit steep. That's doing well, isn't it? The Ron Oil transfer. Right, on the other end of the spectrum, whilst losing us money. The Halo line, not really surprised by that. Uh, the other one, again, not really surprised by that. That will pick up. The Vinewood line has too many vehicles on it. So, one, two, three, four. How many has it got on there? Twelve. So, yeah, let's get rid of four. No, you go to the depot, be sold. You go to the depot, be sold. You definitely be sold. And guess what? You go to the depot, be sold. Close all these windows. Oh, I, this fine wood line, I've been keeping an eye on it. It has been losing money for a fair bit of time, which is odd because this used to be one of our biggest lines. Huh. Okay, we took off a lot of the vehicles. It should be okay now. I did upgrade it. Right, we got enough for a carriage. So you, by train, well, by carriage, I suppose. Clear story, by. And hopefully we'll be able to get another one in a moment. Right, what else is this money? Elysian Island, not really surprised by that. It's only 17,000. That's just because, where's it gone? Yeah, it's not got the usage yet. Sandy's got a, oh, that's the wrong one. Sandy, oh God, Sandy, finally. Has a few too many vehicles on it. So we got six. Let's knock that down to four. So you go to that and be sold. I know we're going to lose the passengers on it. That's got four. That's a bit too many to lose. And you go to the deck and be sold. So close all you. We are, we're getting on top of this slowly. We're keeping in the loop. Uh, the tram line, I know about that. North Chumash, not surprised. Just put it in. Uh, the Chumash lines haven't got any usage at all, so meh. Right, I think we got enough for one more vehicle now, or one more carriage. There you go. Right, which line is this going on? Is this the... No, it's the Halo anti-clockwise, isn't it? Oh wow, that's actually making a fair bit of money. So yeah, Halo anti-clockwise, set line, Halo ACW. And here comes our newest member of the team. Straight across onto its track. Perfect. Right, we got any passengers over here yet? Almost a point if we got any trains over here. I do want to have a ride on one. Uh, oh my god, we've actually got passengers at North Chumash. Happy days. That's the pretty much the only new station. That's the only one I'm worried about at the moment. Where is a train? Jeez, come on, train. Where are they all? Uh, I want to go... Ah, what do I want to go? I want to go clockwise, don't I? No, I don't. I want to go anti-clockwise. No, I do want to go clockwise. I got confused then. Ignore me. So, vehicles, let's close that. Where are you? You are... Going to Chumash. Oh, you're right around the corner. Right, we're going to have a bit of a ride on you. You are by here and let's have a look at these uh, Baldwins there they are look at that that is awesome that's an awesome model that oh this game it's it's got its problems the frame rates aren't brilliant and sometimes it does stupid stuff but oh, 
the graphics are so good. Look at that, we got a million now. Oh, we did have. Like, you, you cannot fault this game for graphics. Look at the tiny details. At the next stop, watch the door between the carriages. It opens so people can get out. Right, let's have a bit of first person. And I'm just going to shut up and we're going to enjoy the views. Oh, we're about to pass another train though. That's worth noting. That hill's a lot steeper than I realised. Might have to do something about that. Up over this bridge. This is the massive bridge. Look how long this is. That's amazing. And look at North Chumash on the hill. This is where the military base would be in real life. I probably should have put a tunnel there to represent that, but you know. And then we're going to go into the tunnel, into Chumash. Not really much to look at then. But then we're going to go straight from a tunnel over a bridge. That's going to look cool. Oh, the speed limit on the bridge is going to be a bitch. That's going to slow us right down. I think we've done a lot of massive improvements here, though, in this episode. We've gone, we've certainly making more money. I'm going to keep on going. I don't know when the next episode will be mine, but... I think we can turn this into something great if I have the time to stick at it. Look at this, over the bridge. Now we're getting into the mountains. There's Mount Chiliad on the right. Another little tunnel. This is a tiny tunnel. I, I do love the update where they made the tunnels good. Look at that, you can see straight through it. Before it would just be like a stone wall which you drove through. Now you can actually see through the tunnels. That's so much cooler. This is a bit bumpy Ranger, but meh. And then down under Polito Bay. This map, this game is amazing. Like, no one can ever take that away from this game. It is just so beautiful. I've got one and a half million. Ah, do I upgrade this bridge? Oh, the temptation's there. Um, the only thing is, if I knock it down and I don't have enough to put it back in, we're pretty screwed. Right. Go for it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. And this final little bit here. Right. Should... Uh, this goes on to this track. No, we haven't got enough. Ah. Okay, we just screwed ourselves. We screwed ourselves big time. Three million, no. Uh, this can go 56, I'll live with that. We just broke our line. Oh, I can't believe we... Oh, come on, money. Come on, come on, come on. We need to fix this. As soon as I can put one side in, then it'll be so much better because then at least one side of the train will run, one side of the halo, one direction. Could not think of the word then. I'm panicking. Come on, we need money. Yeah, money, money, money. Ooh, 2.5 million. Come on, we can do this. I just need to get one side in, and then the other side will be cheaper, and we'll also have one train. There we go. Now one line will start running again. Should be this one. Come on. Why, why is it not completing the line? Ooh. That was weird. Why is it saying the line's not working? Um, oh, a mouse wheel playing up again. Come on, why is it saying the line's not working? The bridge is fine, and it worked before. Ah, oh, come on. Saying the line's broken. Mm. Flip, flip. Flip, oh, flip, flip. Okay. That is slightly alarming me now. Um, I'm not sure what the problem... Oh, now it's working. Okay. That was odd. Right, let's put this bridge in bit at a time. That'll do. Halfway there. Right, 900,000, really? 500? God, come on. 
They was just playing with me. It really is. Oh, you can change bridge halfway across. That's not something I've seen before. Oh well. Right, come on. We need to do this. This needs to be fixed. At least the uh, clockwise line, the one which is working now, is nearly full. So it should make a profit when it pulls into the station. Right, back into positive. It's 250,000 for that tiny bit of bridge. That is highway robbery that's like the great train robbery the great track robbery I probably should stop thinking of random names for this right there need to get this going again not like the, there's a time limit or anything even though I'm imposing my own one and actually let's just play, let it play through we should get 200,000 in the next month look at that 400,000 that loan payment not even loan payment that's just the maintenance cost Okay, we're at the last bit of the bridge, and I was keeping an eye on the trains. I just assumed that if the line broke, they would stop. But for some reason, they've gone onto the wrong track, and now they're going around holding up the other line, which is not good. So let's pop that in. The line should return, and I, can't, I literally have no idea what they're going to do now, because they're going the wrong direction. So... We need to fix this somehow. Yeah, they go in the wrong direction. So what I'm going to do, a bit sneaky, I know, but I'm going to put in a piece of track behind him. And uh, let's close that. Which train are you? You are this one. So flip round and go. Yep. And then I'm going to bulldoze this piece of track because we no longer need it. And you... Oh, you're on the bridge, really. Yeah, look, he's following that track. I, I don't even know what the logic of this game is to think that was a good idea, but... Oh, well. I just assumed they'd stop where they were, but for some reason they joined onto a different track. That was unexpected. Right, we need a piece of track now. And same thing, really. From there, cross to there, that'll do. And you are this train here, flip round, and bulldoze key. And of course now we can't afford it. God, we're losing 400,000 on one line and 350,000 on the other. That's not good. That is not good at all. But they should come back now they've sorted their lives out. That was a very stupid idea taking the bridge out. I'm prepared to admit that. I really should not have done that. But they should all now be happily ever after. Right, delete that now. Get rid of the bulldozer. Right, make sure you're all on the right track. You're underground, of course, so I can't see you. But yep, you're going the right way. Uh, that was train 6, right? Yeah, train 5 is going right. Right, that is fine. Okay, I think it's time to call this. Let's just have a quick look at the profits. Of course, we're losing a ton of money on those two, but they'll sort themselves out. And we're making 1.86 million on the Grapeseed Food Line. The Stab City is making half a million. Same with the Ronald Transfer. I think we're doing much better now in this episode than we were in the last episode. So I think it's time to call this, guys. So I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, because I do actually now, I really want to continue this series now I've played it again. And I am going to do more, but as I said, I haven't got much spare time. I Generally, my spare time is the beginning of the week, so I'm going to try and upload every, probably Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I'll give it a go. And... Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see this series continue, and as always, peace out guys.